you ready for this hit? Do you think I can do a parallel handstand push up? Yeah. First, first QT. Here we go. Pressure. Easy. Oh, all day. Yes. Some people are just born gymnasts. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't. No, me neither. Goodbye, hands. Okay. It's yeah, been yeah. nice. <laughs> oh my god. it gave us this year I, like I did not qualify but I had to go to Dubai for two weeks to be able to make an appearance at the CrossFit Games I went to Dubai for two weeks stayed with my best friend there and flew from there to uh, Madison it was like a 15 hour flight into three hour drive and then we had an early morning of an appearance at WIT so I was launching my uh, tour tee and I hadn't seen the colors of my collection yet, or like I had seen the colors, but I hadn't seen it on the final products. And it was at the hotel in Madison, so I was like a little kid at Christmas. I was just like, oh my gosh, is the package, has it arrived? Gen the <laughs> How exciting she is. Yeah, so exciting. So it's not every day you see your clothing, right? Yeah. Am I gonna see the colors now? And am I gonna see the final products? And I was so excited. Wow! <gasps> Not going out. It's insane. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we've been needing them for ages. I could always train before I had the appearance or before I had duties uh, at the CrossFit Games, and uh, and then train again after. And we would train in the warm-up area. It would be so cool. I think the highlight was just like testing out the collection and like wearing my own collection it was insane. Yeah, so I just finished a, a brutal training session with the, the weight guys. So I haven't been training a lot with anybody since surgery or I've been doing rehab while BK is training for the games. <laughs> so it was good to get the push and, and it's insane how much I can actually push. I didn't expect it. Like, doing parallel keeping handstand push-ups for the first time since I don't know when and, and I was just like doing 15 on broken I was like and I was doing it and I was like I'm not gonna give up I'm gonna I'm gonna come so strong back and like yeah I was just thinking like if you're ever gonna win the games you have to start pushing now <laughs> but it's uh yeah and then I died in the muscle ups to be honest <laughs> it was very good I don't know if it was the clothes that was giving yeah, me so much confidence. Strap. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the extra strap <laughs> gave me strength. Like, I tried to watch BK as much as I could. We tried to time actually all the appearances around <laughs> his competition time to cheer him on. It would have been so hard just being home in Iceland and watching the CrossFit Games. I'm so happy that I was a part of it and being in Madison and, and getting all the love from everybody. You feel a little bit when you've been injured that you're like, you're forgotten or like you're not a part of everything that's going on. There's no pressure on you, there are no cameras, there's nothing. And then you show up at the CrossFit Games and you see everybody and they're like, everybody's in top shape and that's where you want to be. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, I, you. Nice I didn't know you were coming. No, I was surprised. Are you missing the floor? I'm dying right now to get Is this your security team? Yep. Am I allowed to talk to you? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Oh, shit! I cut my bro, man. Oh. I like it. You are the clean. Can I come? 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 Okay, Gangi við, snatsaði fyrir mig. Hæ. Pinky always had a hard attack. I'm not that creepy, am I? 
But you competed for the both of us, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what matters. BK is competing now for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sending him all my strength. So hard being here and not competing. Oh, I, was, sure. I was like showing up and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so weird seeing everything and not being under pressure. Like, oh, sure. I have to go straight to uh, and warm up. But yeah. I never want to watch the CrossFit Games again. I want to be there, I want to fight. And that's exactly how I felt when I was there. And I, I texted my coach, I was like, this event, I want to do this event. And he's like, yeah, calm down. <laughs> we uh, There's a, a long time until you can do that event. I was like, I don't care. I want to do all the events of the CrossFit Games as soon as I'm ready, just let, to let you know. He's like, just enjoy being here and experience. I was like, I'm not, I don't want to enjoy. I want to be fighting right now. I want to be going onto the field and be like, fuck, am I going to, uh, where am I gonna stand in this workout and how how will I break it up and like be having that nerve so like com compete so easy. Really? Mate, he's so good on the pegboard so good. Yeah. 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 yeah whatever you want so if these segments don't fit you got it that is perfect. Look, it's perfect. The pressure was real. Okay, I'll show you next time. Yes, you have to. Okay. It was a very busy trip. I had uh, an appearance for Wits, and I was like, oh, why are we having it? Nobody wants to see me now. People are watching the CrossFit Games. Why would anybody want to get a picture with me now? Like, I'm not even an athlete anymore. <laughs> that was my mindset. Very good mindset, nah. Wouldn't quite say so, but there were, I think, 1,500 people that showed up at my meet and greet. Sarah Sigmund's daughter is in the heart! Enjoy it, it's not fun. Ready? that showed up and, and it's uh, weird when you're injured you you uh, it's hard not being on the competition floor and you and I didn't know how many people would actually show up and still support me but wow <laughs> just get emotional thinking about it so thank you for the support everybody it's making me hungrier for next year to be honest